So hi everyone. Um, I've decided to do a video about uh, Summer 101. Uh, I think summer is probably one of the hardest seasons to keep that weight and stay lean. Um, although in my opinion it's probably the easiest just because you seem to be more active. You want to uh, move more, the activities to be outside, walking, jogging, rollerblading and everything like that. On the other hand, there's those barbecues, the summer um, in the restaurants, um, being on the patio, having a drink here and there. Uh, that can be really hard, especially if you want to have that social life. So I'll just give you a bit of tips what to do this summer uh, to try and keep that, uh, to try and stay lean, but also live uh, as much as you can during this summer. So first off, like I said, if you want to stay lean, it's to either increase, maintain muscle mass, and also decrease fat, or maintain the fat that you have right now if you're satisfied with it as well. So what to do is to basically eat less than what you burn. So that's always the recipe. If you want to maintain, then it's to eat as much as you burn. That's a little harder to, to judge because to be really precise on how much you eat versus how much you are burning, uh, it's a bit more difficult since if you go on a, an elliptical machine in the gym, it says you burn 500 calories in 20 minutes. That is absolutely untrue. So please don't base your, your calorie deficiency on that. Um, so you say, oh, I can eat 500 calories after. Please don't. <laughs> um, it overestimates way too much, especially that machine. Um, so don't go calorie in, calorie out, meaning that don't start counting calories. That's just going to make you go crazy. And I want you to live a healthy... Uh, normal lifestyle as well. So um, be more active. So try and find activities that get you outside that, um, yeah, if you want to go to the gym, that's fine. But if try and get out the outdoors and do things that are fun. That It doesn't have to be, oh, I have to work out. I have to do this. It's because I want to do this. I like doing this. It's completely different. So in my opinion, um, going for walks outside, it's lighter, longer outside, so you can be out longer. Um, getting in, um, into activities, if it's doing bike rides with your friends once a week, if it's rollerblading, anything like that, um, it'll get you moving a bit more. Even if it's walks on the beach, if it's anything um, to get you moving, just keep going at it. When it comes to the calories in, so the barbecues, this is a hard one because what happens, well, what I do is that if I know I have a barbecue at night, well, all day I'll try and eat less portions and eat smaller knowing that I probably will eat a little bit more during the night. Um, the bad thing with this is that you're probably going to be really hungry when you get to that barbecue and you're just going to say, whatever, you know, just one meal won't be that bad. But if you keep saying that every week, twice a week, that's when it comes that it can be bad and you can actually gain weight or not lose anything if you want to lose weight as well. So try and be prepared. I suggest you eat regularly during the day. Maybe increase your cardio, increase your calorie deficiency by doing an activity that day. See, if I have a barbecue, well, I'm going to go and do a bit more step machine than I'm used to do um, if I didn't have that barbecue. So still live that life. There are healthy choices. You obviously probably all know, like the vegetables, fill up on the greens. Um, high protein, try and limit all that's the bread, the starch, you know, one, one hot dog instead of three, something like that. Um, so it, I know it's easy to say, but to actually do it is completely different. Uh, if I'm in a competition prep, then what's going to be, what I do is I bring my own meals. I bring my own steak, I bring my bison steak or my horse meat or chicken, and I get it done on the barbecue as well, and I eat with everybody instead of having a hamburger or a hot dog. So that's maybe at an extreme, but uh, try and limit the portions. That's probably the most important tip that I can give. Um, anything that's sugary drinks, alcohol, try and limit. Um, even pure alcohol can be better. Um, you can add some uh, soda with uh, lime juice, anything that's diet too. Um, it will limit calories, but watch out with that soda because uh, even the diet will affect your insulin. So it's very important. You don't want to take too much diet soda. It will increase that insulin like if you had any high starchy sugary food which uh, will make you crash and want more. Okay, <laughs> So just be careful about that. So that's in general. Um, if you do have any questions about that, if you want me to go up a bit more deep into one subject, 
please don't hesitate. Um, but with that said, I will keep doing videos for you guys and trying to be po posting a bit more regularly on our website, on the Facebook. So uh, with that said, um, that's about it. So have a great day, and we'll see you soon. Bye.